last but not the least, speaker for this session is Engineer Ember Joaquin. Uh, he will be presenting to us the highlights of your thesis during your undergrad, yes, already a graduate of our own Engineering and Communications Department of AMP. And he's already preparing for the board exam. So, remember, this year as your Good morning, so I will try to make this quick once again. Uh, I am Member Joaquin and this study was created by four people and I just go and leave to have the time to process this in this conference. And we're guided by our research advisor from the United States. So first of all, we said the development of smart devices by the recording system for Adventist University of the Philippines. Here in the Philippines, even in every vehicular terminal, we Filipinos tend to make the course of every vehicular place that pass that terminal. As just like what you can see in our gate, there's a guard waiting there so that every vehicle that will enter and go out in this university will be done for the purpose of security and order purposes. So however, that process is the worst and requires a lot of manpower, which is it's not a uh, it's not a big resource here in this university. So right now, we develop a, a, a smart license for the recording system for AUB. So the general objective is to develop a smart recording system for AUB and the specifics. The side of the recording system using ALPR library is the one that we use for uh, computer vision. Then Java Metrics ID for GUI and MySQL for storing the, the data. Then, secondly, to develop a second automated parking beam prototype to work simultaneously with the license plate recording system. So, we created a second objective so that we can see the interaction between our software and then the hardware prototype that we made. So, the significance of the study first is, to, is for the AEP administration so that uh, this process will require a lesser human workforce and then Secondly, for the AUP Public Safety Department, because their job will be a little lesser than usual, then for the AUP patrons, because when we write manually the fake numbers, it will take some time. However, when we equip that process using a computer and using a camera, it will be faster than what a human can do. So the scope. The system will only record the license plate, the date and time parameter of the system database. The license plate recognition system will be equipped with the following functionalities. First, the recognition of license plates. Secondly, the registration of local vehicles. Thirdly, the differentiation of localized vehicles from regular and regular listing vehicles. So here they will use speakers so that we can identify who is uh, local vehicles here in, the, here in the campus. So when you have when you have a speaker, you will automatically grant them access in our gate. However, if you don't have, or if your vehicle don't have, the guard will stop you and then you must let them record your plate number. Then lastly, no, administrative and staff system access, this is for our GI, and then this is for variant beam serial communication. This is between the hardware and software prototypes. So the scope, yeah, continually. The image processing never will be adjusted for recognizing four wheel vehicles, that's the split format, with 2010 and 2016 Philippine license split font styles. So here in the Philippines, we have a transition. So that 2010 and 2016 license split format font styles are the latest. However, some vehicles don't follow that format and they are still using the old ones. So in computer vision, since you have different format, and we will you will see later that we adjusted our software into the into this format so that we can have higher chances of reading the pink number correctly. Then the duration of the study will be from January 2018 up to May 2018. So the limitation. So the size of image processing and its current corresponding algorithms has not yet been thoroughly perfected. 
There are more different factors like blur and our covered plate numbers, and other physical phenomena may raise the probability for misreading and other completion of license plate characters. Furthermore, the processing time of learning algorithms is fully dependent upon the host computer's processing speed. Therefore, a faster processing speed requires a faster computing speed. So these are the materials that we use for our prototype. So we use MySQL for the database, a video camera, an AC motor, and for our prototype room, and then the ALP driver. We also use Arduino so that for the serial communication between our software and the hardware prototype. So this is the simple flowchart of our hardware implementation. So from the software system, we will have a simple serial communication towards the Arduino. And then having this in the prompt, two wires, and through our release, we will control our motor so that it can control our home, depending on the scenario that the supervisor is seeing. So this is the prototype that we did. This is the design using CAD software. And then for the software implementation, so as I said earlier, we adjusted the ALPR library, which is free and can be downloaded in the internet. We adjusted it in 2010 and 2016 Philippine team number format. Very successful. So as a text filter, the software will be programmed to only accept input text that are in the following format. So this is the Philippine format of plate numbers. 2 and 4 alpha numeric inputs, 3 and 4 alpha numeric inputs, and 3 and 3 alpha numeric inputs. So there are many formats because yeah, here in the Philippines, very little transition. But right now, I think the government is making an initiation to make the plate numbers, uh, to, to make every, every plate numbers in the same format. So the data storage administration, so we use MySQL. And this is the additional diagram that we have. So localization of plate numbers will be done through digital registration to the system. So instead of placing stickers on each, uh, each vehicle, what we propose is just register the plate, the vehicle in our system. And so that when our system uh, view the plate number and recognize it, automatically it will grant access to that vehicle. So there's no more middleman needed for that process. So the interface is equipped with text and search process provide, to provide an ease of operability around the interface. Interface is shown. So this is the vehicle registration. So as you can see, we, there's a plate number, text box, and then a category. And then these uh, are just uh, auxiliary text boxes. So these are the vehicles that are the during our testing. In continuation, the storage is reflected and tabulated in a tabulated manner manifesting the following information. So the date and time, plate number, vehicle category, and other bigger information just like we saw in here. Then the completion mark and processing system. Furthermore, the table can be carried for specific information to the utilities provided. So this is the list of the code vehicles that have been interacted in our system. So as you can see, there is a category, there is a visitor and a regular, there is a date number, then the date, uh, date and time, and then the recognition of mark. So we included this so that we can see because we will include this in our test in our data so that we can see whether our uh, whether our system has been successfully recognizing big numbers. So the user privilege and kind of access. Since this is an administrative work, so there should be a hierarchy of access. So there are two access. The first is the administrative, which has the privilege to access the system data logs and register big numbers. The second one is the staff, which is the workers in the game, which only have the supervis supervisory capability to the system. So this is the difference of the interface. The user account is this one, which is the capability to log into the system and then register big numbers. And the last one is for the employee. 
So software implementation and other capabilities. So we make way so that even though the computer will start the system, there will be there will always be a very capability presence so that everything will still be operable. So these are the prompts given when a plain number is recorded. And then this is another prompt given so that the, the supervisor will be notified that the system doesn't recognize the big number. And the third one is the third one because the system is notifying the user that the system uh, that the big number read or interpreted is not in the database. However, there is something there that there are some big numbers that are similar and then there are problems that will be given. So these are the opening this is the uh, interface that the supervisor will be operating on. This is the uh, operate, operate button. This is the submit when the system does not recognize the date number. So you can just input here and then press submit. Then by the next time that the, that the vehicle is interacted, so the, the system will press reference that date number into, all, into its database and then it will be registered automatically. So this is the place for the video, however, uh, it's not present here. So operational flow chart, the vehicle approach terminal, system reads the plate number, it is read, no provider recognized from, and then there is the, until the boom is open. So this is the assessment that we have. So we place the camera in pattern to the placement of the CCTV camera in the gate so that there will be so that potentially in the future we can just access the CCTV camera using our system. So we use 50 test images here and then for the video feed we also place our camera in the CCTV and then this is one of the feed. So this is the example of our system, uh, of our data for the vehicular and for the images and then this one is for the video feed. Now, for the recognition, we said failure when the system doesn't exactly recognize the pink number. So even though he has given a prompt or he has given an, a notification or suggestion, we still think this as failure. However, the hardware is unsuccessful because the system has an over capability. So in conclusion, the developed system has been able to perform its plate number recording functionality successfully due to the effective utilization of the database management database, the GUI, and the involved ALP library. Now the hardware prototype's capability to operate the developed system is demonstrated in the assessment using video feed input, which shows that there is no known contingency in the whole system's operation. Now for the recommendation, of course, they utilize faster computing speed. Uh, utilize faster computing speed to achieve faster performance of the system, especially the video feed, video feed inputs. <coughs> Secondly, use proper barrier bit because we only use a prototype. Okay. Thirdly, expand system system's database entries through lower exposure of the of the system in the terminal and enlarge its data storage from a host computer's database to a much reliable data server. So Add conditional criterions for vehicular logging, for example, and as here, because we are only looking for the pink number. And then so that it will there will be minimized vehicular anomalies. Then lastly, the just the factors that may less that, that may lessen the accuracy of license plate recognition to the improvement of the vehicular terminal environment. So this one is manifested through the VGP because when it's getting dark, uh, the video input is also getting easy. So we put that segment here in the recommendation. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Give us a happy Friday. I think special camera will be great only for this next thing because clear view, you can even maybe a good vehicle for your application so you can see the application here. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, another from Indonesia. Hello, Mr. Ramadhan. 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 Maybe uh, two questions, just two questions. Uh, my first question is, uh, do you develop your own uh, algorithm for object detection and recognition or you only use like uh, from the library? Uh, we only utilize the ELP or Okay, because uh, from my perspective, uh, it's not only about the software or the, the camera, but the accuracy, uh, when you detect the plane number, it depends on uh, the algorithm. Because uh, if the sub algorithm, maybe they, they focus on the speed. So if the car is very fast, they can always track the plane number. But sub algorithm is just focused on the consistency. So uh, it depends on the uh, how to say that? It depends on the case that you you are facing. So. Uh, I don't know if uh, in the in the in the in the future, maybe you can think uh, another algorithm that can work better in, in your case because uh, I see in your evaluation there's still a lot of uh, you know failure, right? Maybe you can you can try another algorithm that can uh, uh, read or uh, something like that, uh, read the plate numbers uh, correctly. Yes. Thank you very much for those questions. And Mark, please go to Sir and go to the chat. It is now time to give the certificates of appreciation. So, and Mark, please walk in for the very Mark for sharing us his highlights of his research today. I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for the awesome discussions we have here. Uh, please uh, enjoy the rest of the day and thank you tomorrow. Thank you so much.